Hello, welcome back. A new year, a new episode of Let's Talk Continuo. So, uh, you know, we're going to go back to our roots here, go back to some Talmon. And uh, in this one, we're going to do a little normality. Because, you know, I think we all, we all need a little normality these days. <laughs> normality. <laughs> Anyways, let's just play this thing. Let's see how it sounds. All right, let's see. Let's see how it is. All right? Two, three. <laughs> Fun. <laughs> I kind of wanted to spice it up a little bit. So, hey, let's talk about that. Let's talk about what I did. This one, I kind of have this idea that, you know, we have this dance thing because you'll notice in the um, upper line here, in the upper line we have this kind of fun and fancy thing. A fun and fancy thing. We go... Right, we have this... Bum, bum, uh, right, and of course not as sloppy as that. But, you know, bum, bee, da, 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 da. so we probably do not want to do anything crazed on this part, right? If you wanted to, you can just go, uh, right? That's kind of fun, right? That's just basic. And so you'll notice we're going to start off here with a nice little attack. We're going to get a little scrape on there, a little. Uh. So with this kind of stuff, I like to think we want more scratch than sound on this kind of stuff. Because, um, I mean, of course, of course. Within reason, within reason, within reason. All right, so, but we want this scratchy sound. We want that, uh, right? We don't want. Something more like robust like that. We want that kind of lightness of tone. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put about half the pressure in here. We're just gonna think about. Let's find that. You're gonna find that area. For me, it's kind of around the fingerboard. And you notice how I can just kind of draw a lot of bow and it gets this kind of airy, scratchy tone. So we go. Uh, now, so we've got this tone, which is really lively. You'll notice it's very excited, but it's also it's not gonna cover things up and it's pushing forward. You'll notice by using all this bow, we're physically pushing the sound different directions. Now, let's talk about also how you can add in a little little fun thing. I like to think about this. We have a... <laughs> so, think about adding in some of that vibrato just to kind of... You sort of soften some edges with that. The Instead of... That's more straight, right? Now let's push the sound. Push the sound. See how I'm really pushing, right? So, but you'll also notice I'm not pushing with the tempo. I'm just pushing. Now, this little end part here gives us a nice chance to, you know, this little thing right here. You can kind of... Right? Right, we have... Uh, something like that, right? So we can kind of outline that. Add in a little D there. I think it sounds fancy. I think it sounds fine. You know, what are you gonna do? You're gonna sue me over, over an errant D, you know, whatever. So let's move on here. We have this part, which actually, this is where I like to push. All right, so now let's just add in as many notes as we can. Uh, you see all these figures here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna say, we have the six there, so we have. So you'll notice how I'm preserving eighth notes. You see a lot of eighth notes. I'm not adding in anything faster than an eighth note. All we're doing is the rhythm is pretty much there already. We're just augmenting it, right? And so what we're going to do with that is we're going to kind of make sure our bow hand is the... So we're going to use a little bit less bow on this one, and we're just going to keep this pushing. We're going to we're going to justify on the downbeats the. And you notice on these cadential patterns, we're going to add in these um, 
we're gonna add in some skips there to give the idea that you know we have the scalar pattern and then a choppy part, right? So we're gonna add in a little contour by the, right? Notice how it's the same stroke though. Uh, now, we have two things that are the same. We're using this sort of scratchy-ish bow sound. I, I'm using scratchy because, you know, it's, it's got strings. It's gonna be a little scratchy, right? Now, moving on to the next part, you'll notice how we have more of these blocks, right? And so all of a sudden we know, okay, there are no eighth notes over here. No eighth notes. All the eighth notes are gone. So, however, let's look at the vocal line. Also in the vocal line, not as much fancy stuff going on up here during that moment. And they're ending on night, I think. Something like that. So now let's just think about this. We can add some ornamentation. We can go. I like that one because that links. You notice how I'm linking this. I'm not going uh, or you know what I mean? Or you could do that as well. You can add in a C there. I like the. I think it sounds a little bit less complete with A. I uh, couldn't really tell you why, but you know, so just to hear that, just with the C this time, we have a... <laughs> right, it sounds a little bit more complete, right? Well, let's try it with the A. Uh... Now the trick here though, the trick is to make sure that it is one, two, three, one, and two, right? We don't want any of this nonsense where you're going, uh... Right, we don't want that, but we also don't want something weird like that, right? We want to go ba da dee dee da na 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 So we want to go... So you'll notice what I did there um, was we have a skip and then connection. So we have... So we have one, two, three, one, and we push into that. And... All right? So... We have this kind of uh, sort of a, a comma here and then a crescendo into that part, which will help you, right? And then we adding a little tag and then you'll notice down here we have kind of the answer to this where we're gonna kind of make it more complete. And I like this one. You can do a... You can go down on that one. I like to kind of keep it the same though. So you're going... And preserving the similar idea with this one. Now you'll notice we're gonna do the same thing here though. We're gonna go. Now you notice on this one it's a little harder to do that. So we're gonna go. If you wanted to really preserve that line though, adding in that low E would be good. But I like the completedness of ending it like this. So we're gonna go. That's kind of a picky version. Let's do it a little bit more connected. So we're gonna do these matched pairs. Look at this, we're gonna go. Right? All right, so you'll notice we're going with the fingers, we're gonna go pull push. And the push is like this little tiny thing that just bounces right off. So we go. Amazing. So we're gonna continue with something that's similar over here, right? We have this, the. Now, you could ornament that as well. Mm, I don't like that one though. I, I wanna go down, so. I kinda like that, right? The. Okay, so now you'll notice how I put two feet down on the, each cadence, right? Sound a little odd. So I think you have to pick one or the other. So let's just try both of them. I'm gonna try and get the second one this time. So we have. Might be a little weird, you know? Might be a bit odd. Let's try it with the first one. I don't know. I'm more 
of the mind that you want to end with the singer. You want to let it go, and you want the movement to be, be before it. So we have. <laughs> something kind of silly like that. So you'll notice in this one we're using this bow technique to really ratchet up the intensity, ratchet up that energy, but we're not ratcheting up the sound. I'm not playing in this sort of oppressive way, which is so easy to do when you want to get excited and you just want to, you just want to play over everyone else. I would really suggest playing uh, against that. Don't, don't do that, but this is a great way to do that. You're going to add in some of those vibrato effects. You're going to add in some of that kind of high driven, you know, you're getting more of the, the higher overtones, you're getting more of that sound. And so I think that that's just wonderful. That's like a really fun texture to play with, um, especially if you're by yourself, because I think it adds this sort of layer of complexity that uh, the ear really likes. And honestly, a lot of that scratch, you know, you're hearing maybe more of it because I bought this fancy little microphone that I've been playing around with. I still don't know if I like it better than my other microphone, but it picks up less noise, which is kind of fun. And I'm running it through some EQ pedals, you know, so I can do shit like this. Uh, stuff, stuff like this. Stuff, stuff, stuff. Good times. Good times. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And I will see you in the next one. In the next one. See you later. <laughs>